Hey guys, this is Tim again here, and um, I'm just wanting to talk a little bit about something that seems to have come up several times um, recently. It's a movement known as the Word of Faith movement. And um, I've been asked about it, and when I say I don't really agree with it, people ask why. Partly because... Well, first off, the Word of Faith movement is spawned from the Oneness movement. Which, the Oneness movement, they're about a half step away from being Unitarian, honestly. They um, believe that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is all Jesus. Jesus is the Father, and He is the Holy Spirit. Well, obviously we have a problem here, because when Jesus does His teaching, He speaks mostly of my Father in Heaven. If He is the Father, who's He talking about? Even as He was crucified, He winds up praying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what to do. If the oneness movement is true, then who was he praying to? But anyways, the Word of Faith movement, which um, is pretty much, it sums up, it says that if you believe in Jesus and accept Jesus, you're going to get supernatural capability. Seems like a Oh, Kenny, you've got that all wrong, but at the same time, that preacher is, he has a church known as Rhema Bible Church, and he is a major influence in the Word of Faith movement, but you do have to be careful, you have to test everything you hear from the pulpit because like they said there is false prophets which some of them know that they're false they say things that God didn't tell you that and they know and they know he didn't kind of like a uh, one guy I won't make mention his name but he's from Texas like back hair if you send me a hundred dollars today, I promise you God will send you a thousand dollars tomorrow. I mean, that's an example of people who most likely know that they're just looking for money and God didn't actually tell them that. But things like this and the Word of Faith movement, I think they're ignorantly preaching false God, a false message. It's, I'm not quite as critical on them just because I don't think they know. I think they do need to spend more time with the Bible. But at the same time, the Word of Faith movement is something you need to kind of be wary of. And basically, like I'm saying, you want to test everything you hear according to Scripture. But that's just what I'm have for today. Bye.